thank you for turning up. My name's Hayden Jones. I'm one of the 73 drivers, HGV drivers from Clare Country Council that voted for industrial action and I'm proud to say that I stand on the picket line with my brothers and sisters. First of all, what I would like to start off with is the barrage of lies that is being thrown at us. And not just us, but at the union as well. For, for the leader of this council to blatantly and continuously throw a barrage of lies around the wages that we're on is absolutely scandalous. We've challenged him at every opportunity to not actually with the name of the individual that's on £52,000 a year, but the legality of how that individual could earn that kind of money as a qualified HGV driver. And believe me, when I tell you this, there is no way in this world that a HGV, qualified HGV driver would be able to work 77 hours a week, 7 days a week, 52 weeks a year. So it's a lie. What they want to do is to produce a barrage of lies, but in fact, we have got the facts. This is the facts. Drivers are on £11.39 an hour and will rise to £14 an hour after a 12-year period or an 11-year period. That is the facts. We have had enough now of actually having to go onto our knees and be begging for a pay rise. We shouldn't be having to do that, OK? We're living in a society where the working people and, and people of this city are actually working in, in receipt of working benefits. And we've got that on our picket line. We've got people on our picket line that are having to use food banks. We've got people on our picket line that can't afford dental care. And I've seen that being ridiculed, ridiculed by the very people that are meant to be supporting us. And what I will say is, I think it's very ironic that a leader of a Labour council, we came down on Tuesday to hand the petition in, in support of our brother who's been victimised. And that's what it is, victimised on the picket line, Pete Randall. We listened to that uh, at a later day, part, sorry, a later part of the day. And what I couldn't believe from this Labour councillor is when he stood up, he was looking, and I mean begging for praise from the Conservative councillors, for the way that he was strike-breaking. He was actually condemning them for the way that... They were condemning him for the way that this strike was handled. And they were actually asking him, when is there an end to this strike? But what I will tell you, I don't care if I'm on the bones of my backside. I will not go back until they've paid the rate, and we certainly won't be going back now. And we certainly won't be going back now. There'll be no further negotiations, and believe me, until Pete Randall is reinstated and his bogus claims are withdrawn. And what I will tell you, what I, what I will tell you is that we will not accept bullying anymore. What's going down at Whitley Depot has to stop. And it's being done in the name of this Labour Council, believe me, OK? It's not just the drivers now that are suffering, it's also the carriers and the senior crew at Coventry City Council who are being put in such an awful position by this employer that's been done in the name of this Labour Council. They too are being bullied, believe me. Their health and safety is being put at risk and at jeopardy. And I've got full solidarity for them. And I'm hoping that they will realise that their place is on the picket line with us. Yeah. And that we need to bring this council to its knees. And the reason why I say that is because when they turn around and tell you that this is going to cost them between eight and thirty million pounds. What they mean is that their system is broke, and that everybody at council now needs this pay rise. We've got people on extortionately low wages, people living on, on poverty wages. Why are we now living in a city that's run by a Labour council that tells us that they want to level up? Why are we then still got work uh, drivers and uh, workers using food banks? Tell me that. Why are we doing that in a society? I'll tell you why. Because this is the crap wages that they want to pay us. Okay? And we ain't going back. Reinstate uh, Pete Randall. Solidarity to all, to everybody. Thank you for turning up. We are the right and we stand up and we fight. Right, we're just going to have a moment or two because there's a lot of myths, truths going about that these guys earn 52 grand a year, which is absolute rubbish. They were at the top of the band.
for 27,000 a year, they would have to work 52 weeks a year for over 70 hours a week, no breaks, no weekends off, no annual leave. That is against the law and it is criminal. So we've got print offs here of pay slips. So we'll give you a moment or two if you want to do your social media pictures, videos, or whatever, so you can actually see what these drivers actually earn. They're worth 52,000 actually. They're worth 